everyone. My name is Leonardo Vera, and today I will be showing you um, a, I will be uh, demonstrating the single leg squat test. And so the purpose of this test, um, um, we use it a lot on athletes, especially who play uh, basketball. Um, and the purpose of this test is basically to, to test the, the stability or instability of the knee and the hip. So basically, um, we don't want it to go in as such and, and do a bogus. Um, so basically, um, before we do the test, um, some, some things that you might want to avoid when doing the test. Um, you want to perform it nice and slow, so, so don't rush it. And when you go down on the leg, you basically want to try to keep your ankle aligned with your knee and the hip, okay? okay so so our patient will will be on one leg so, so in this case the right leg her arms will be straight out forward and the elevated leg will be right right in front of her with the knee extended and and, and she will not do the the single leg squat right up to at least 60 degrees of knee flexion and can you and do you mind doing that one, one more time? Okay, <laughs> okay, thank you. So as you can see, she lost her balance there. Um, so for example, in this case, she failed the test. Um, as, as, as you could tell, her knee did do a lot of valgus. Um, especially some, some factors to, to consider that could affect the results in this case. In this case, it would be balance. Um, if she would, if she would have pain as well, either in the hip, in the knee, or or or, or in the ankle, that could prevent her from doing the, the test. As well as lack of range of motion. So if you have tight calves or tight glutes, that could also limit you from doing the the necessary squat. Um, yeah. Okay. So based on her results. Um, so she lacks a lot of balance. So in this case, if we were to have like a training program, <laughs> so if she were to have a training program, um, I would mainly focus on doing um, a, a lot of uh, of the single leg activities. Excuse me, a lot of the single leg activities. So in order for her to 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 increase her proprioception and such. Um, as well as for basketball players, it's good. It's a good. It, it's a good strategy to keep in mind that when you come down from a jump, so the deceleration. To basically keep in mind not to cave in the knee. I know it's easier said than done, but every time you come down, just remember to basically widen your stance just a little bit. Um, so in order to address these issues, so besides the lack of balance, um, the valgus could be from maybe weak abductors or weak external rotators. So for example, the glute medius, the glute max, the TFL, and the piriformis. So you want to do exercises to strengthen those normal, to strengthen those muscles to increase her stability. So for example, like doing. Um, um, like lateral raises, um, you could do crab walk, crab walks with bands. You could also do sideline clamshells. Um, you can do even um, hip hikes from a step up, like that. It works more. Um, so basically, another. Another way that you could do the the test, if, 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 if your patient lacks the balance, they could do it against the wall for, for support. So basically, we'll follow the same procedure, except now her back, her back will be against the wall. So, so on forward, leg out, and try to do it again. And leg extended. Okay. So as you can see, 
her knee did did go in just a little bit, but at least her balance was pretty well in this case. Um, you could also do if 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 you don't have access to a to a wall, maybe you can do basically partial squats, so just slightly until the client gains the the proper mobility. Um, and also uh, to increase her balance, you could also basically let's start with a single leg, but also have her hold on to something from maybe like a chair or stool and then slowly progress the exercises by maybe using two fingers, then one fingers, and then one hand. And then at the end, the patient should have um, a full control with the single leg. And that is the conclusion of the single leg squat test.